nature's best bobtail. Oh, you and having all the fun. Our dog behavioralist Ansi Minar is in studio. Now, the same look that all the guys have had with Catherine Jenkins walking around the studio. Bob gets that look in his eye whenever <laughs> Ansi walks in. You've done such a fantastic... Look at that. Oh, you old romantic. Today, it's not all fun and smiles. We're talking about a certain behavioural pattern that I think every dog owner has encountered. Barking or excessive barking. And it's interesting to know that out of two scientific studies done, one third of all all dog owners reported that their dog barks excessively. For South Africans, we rely on that bark. It's, it's part of our safety. It's half of the reason why we buy dogs or own dogs. What could cause a dog to bark excessively? Let's start at the beginning. There are four reasons. Um, and it could be any one of those. Um, firstly, you've got your alert barking, which, yes, we all want. Um, secondly, you've got your attention seeking, which comes because when they were puppies, mom and dad didn't quite do the right thing, and I'll get back to that now. The third one is um, this fearful and aggressive barking, which also includes separation anxiety. That's something that uh, you probably want to get a behaviorist in for to help you sort it out, okay? Um, alert barking. Ideally, your dog goes out there, he lets you know there's someone outside. That's why you've got him. Unfortunately, what we do is we ignore his barking, we carry on with whatever we're doing, and he just incessantly keeps barking. Ideally, what we want to do from an early age is go out there, thank him for a great job done. Acknowledge, yeah. I absolutely say, thank you, that'll do, I know what the problem is, and no problem. Okay, come, that'll do. So you're teaching him a command to cease barking and come back inside, and you want to keep doing that. Instead, as I say, people ignore it and then it just develops. The uh, boredom barking I didn't mention before. Now, boredom is probably the biggest problem. I would say pretty much 80% of the problems are as a result of boredom barking. And that is because there isn't enough um, mom and dad owners. They didn't supply, particularly from the beginning as puppy, enough physical and mental exercise. And if you, if you keep them yeah. busy and you give them things to do, they won't find their own things to do, which are the things we don't want them to do. Now, Ansi, um, how do we go backwards? Obviously, starting at the beginning, training a pup like um, Bob, right from the onset, we get the best possible behaviours kind of being set in. But what do we do in regression? How do we go back and treat a dog that is barking excessively? Where do we start? Well, if you've established what type of barking it is, then we can, we, we, we can do something about pretty much all of, those, all of those things. If it's alert barking, then start to train your dog to come back inside. If it's... Um, boredom barking, start giving your dog exercises, take him for walks every uh, daily, give him things like um, interactive toys or chewies or put the music on to mask any sounds that are happening outside if that's what, what's getting him going. Keep him busy. Um, and a tired dog is a good dog, essentially, okay? So that would solve out your boredom problem, your attention. If, as a puppy, what happens? Doggy, bark, 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 oh, cute, oh, yay, and we give him focus and we attention. We're teaching him to bark. Hey, bark, mom will give me attention. So you don't want to do that. He barks, turn around, ignore. Um, you might get to a stage where he's not getting the message because the habit has developed now. So you might want to go into a timeout zone where you will do a, a slight uh-uh, take him by the collar, gently and quietly lead him into a small area and close the door, like a bathroom or a toilet or whatever. So it's isolation. He barked for your attention. What happens? Consequence, he loses you. So you do that, and you only keep him in there for like 30 seconds. It's about making the connection. You bark, you lose me. Throwing him in there for an hour is not going to help him understand that. Just so it's about repetition, yeah. repetition, 30 seconds, back out, bark, back in. Back out. So it's always like that. Take away the bad repetition, put in the new. Absolutely. Auntie, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a very informative session this morning. Hopefully you at home have picked up a couple of tips. If you've got a dog that is barking excessively, there is something you can do about it. But generally, it starts with you and not the dog. Always <laughs> examine your own behaviour first. We're going to catch up with our Express News, then a jam-packed final half hour of the show on the way. Mm. I'll let you get a cup of coffee. Beyond that, don't move a muscle. <laughs>